state of Texas. It's been taped up together. That's pretty sketchy. Anyway, back on another property, man. Let the let the tag games begin. New Jersey. Fires November 20. Anyway, uh pretty sure we got one of those car buyers at this this building and they like to play tag games. Anyway, we're gonna get one of those. Uh definitely gonna get the 2020 here. Liberty's got to go. <clears throat> Valid tag. Department 505. March 21. I don't know that it's a valid tag. I mean, I don't see anything except a note on here. No documents, no nothing on that car. Oh, they got a 45 car list. Well, let me see. Yeah, they got 45 cars that were stickered on this property. And hey, we're gonna keep rolling and notate a few more. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start loading in just a minute, but I'm trying to get trying to get a quick idea of what's here. That way we know what uh, how many cars we're gonna be taking off this property and how long it's gonna take. Get an idea. the fake tag over there. Anyway, since I've turned around, uh, the little Civic, I went up there and turned around to get the right angle on this, this car here. Uh, the Civic with the fake tag, the homemade plate on it, it was moved already. I came down here and moved it really, really quick. I'm surprised, shocked. The Sentra right dead ahead, the silver Sentra, it's been parked there for quite a while. The tag's been expired for, I don't know, several months. But we're going to grab it. It's right up here. I'm just going to drag it out. If I can't roll it back by hand, I'm going to drag it out. I just spoke to the 
Mason in office today and the managers are not in, but she left a note for them tomorrow. I mean, for them when they come in tomorrow. It's going to be taken to South Carolina this weekend. Okay, well you just in the morning, I'll call and talk to the manager in the morning. No, I will. Because yeah. he's not here. He's not here, so I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it because okay. he's not here, but just call him in the morning because we'll okay. be back over here tomorrow. No, I will. Okay. I didn't even, I don't come out the house much. Yeah. And when I seen the reflection of the orange, I was like, wait, is something with my car? Yeah, but just no, make sure you talk to him. Again. Okay. Make sure you talk to them because I can't, I can't no, I give will. you. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Have a good one. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, that, that manager, uh, the manager's not here right now. So he's got his, uh, assistant manager and his other, other office personnel hand, handling in it, handling the situation with the cars. But I, I know him real well. And that lady's car is it's, it's intact. It's, it ain't, it, it's drivable. Pretty sure the car runs. And she's a really, really nice resident. Uh, and she's probably not problematic at all. So he'll give, I know, I know, the, I know the guy personally, so I'm pretty sure he might give her a break tomorrow. So for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it for now and let him make that decision in the morning. But these other ones, uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, something else is fixing to get towed in just a minute. I can guarantee you that. Double check the back window. The back window, no plate. It says March 21. cover on it and all the dirt up underneath it it's been sitting there for months uh, and whoever owns the car came out and put a phone number on there and set the tags is legal uh, I can't go on somebody's word if they would have put something inside the vehicle documents that showed the uh, registrations current uh, then it's very possible I might have passed the car up until a later date but being the condition of the vehicle and the parking place it was sitting in, uh, it was a bad eyesore on that property. And that's just the kind of crap that they want removed off the property. They're redoing the buildings. I mean, they're redoing the siding on the buildings. They're spending a lot of money on that property. And I know the manager, They sit, he moves around property to property and he, he upgrades properties. He knows what he's doing and he, uh, he don't want that car on the property. That's for sure. And whoever owns it should have put some documents in it. Because uh, I'm there to clean the property up. That's what I do. 